people see your glory, people see your happiness, but only you and God know your sacrifice. We sacrifice that four years to get one degree. Or for some of us, it takes longer because we actually have to work to get the degree. I look at the case of like Nelson Mandela and being imprisoned for, I think, 27 years. But when he came out, he only served a five-year term. But the mission was so valuable. That was, that was worth it to him and worth it to all the people who, who, who believed in freedom. I was looking at the U.S. election and I was talking to my friend last night and I was saying, you know how amazing it is that the same thing shows up over and over and over again. It's like, I don't have to believe what you believe. And I know that the, the course of history is going to change and what's going to happen will affect my life. But I think it's, under, it's, it's very important for me to understand your position and for you to understand my position for you to understand that my life matters and my life is valuable but for me to understand that your life matters and your life is valuable because essentially what we keep doing on both sides is you're gonna make a sacrifice for what you think is your freedom and your right and i'm gonna make a sacrifice for my freedom or my right and for the people who never voted any at all your silence <laughs> your silence was actually your vote so now shit hit the fan and it is what it is and we all just have to pick up because we're a resilient set of people and figure out how can we coexist because if i want you understand me now you best believe i got to take some time to try and understand you i not talk one person forget that for now but how can i coexist and live with you in this space what is it that you want because show me what somebody value and i can show you exactly what they're gonna do i don't listen to what people say for too long so I tell you guys, I'm not, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a minister, I'm not a preacher, I'm not anything. I, I just want to have these dialogues with you because I learned so much from you guys. So much, just so much from what you do. Look, and the one that resonated the most with you is the one that you supported. Because what? It aligned with all your values. See what I'm saying? It's a class thing too. And sometimes we think that we hold a certain value based on a certain life, based on what that life look like. And I think I asked that question last week, you know, do you know what that success look like or do you know what that happiness looks like? Because you don't have to say it out loud to nobody, you know, but every single thing you do is in alignment with that. If, if driving a certain kind of car, driving that car makes you feel better or happy, or like this is your version of success so it means that they say you put your value so they say your money ever go same thing with relationships i've observed that over and over again anyway you see a man put him time and in money 90 percent of the time in heart the right they saw same place because i think men are natural providers but it it <laughs> It's interesting and you know, some, sometimes we see the truth but we try to walk away from the truth and we don't try and accept the truth. To me, if I'm gonna do life, I'm gonna do all of me. You're gonna get 100% of me. In love, in family, with my relationships with my friends, um, in intimacy with that one special person who I choose to give that kind of time and attention and my focus, ultimately my love, yeah, I, 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 I'm going to play 100% or I don't play at all. Because you can't be, for want of a better word, half pregnant. I can't love you, but I either love you or I don't. It's either going to work or it's not going to work. But at the end of the day, you kind of have to make a decision. And those are some of the things we sacrifice. And as we talk about that, it kind of leads me to sacrificing for your career. And if you notice... I stayed away from is your life or your happiness or your freedom worth money? I believe money buys us the experience that we want. Money buys us the trips, the travel, the freedom to not have to get up and do a job that you don't necessarily like. Those are the things I think money buy you. And um, yeah, tell me.
What's your happiness worth? What's your love worth? What's your life worth? So we just shot a video called Mula, which is on Bulby Arc's project, and the director was John Butterick. And um, John is out of Colorado, so big up John. So I'm gonna give you guys a little behind the scenes of what is to come. The song is called Mula. Yes, definitely. Some of the kids asked me yesterday, is this a wig? It looks like a Okay, it's so big. big, right? <laughs> but you see, this is what happens when you don't comb your hair for, I don't even know how long, maybe have six months. So every time I wash it, it curls up, and I just keep washing it. And you, I only use conditioner in my hair, so I'm kind of feeling this to the color growing out, and I refuse to color it. I mean, that's big. Why are you calling that the darling? Probably be cool. Because I'm black. It's actually some black doll. Emily, we are late. The director is waiting and we're heading. You guys are late. We are late. The, you are the stylist is late. I am late. The makeup well, artist is late. Like because we are very far from doing what we're doing. So, Crossroads is the next shoot. Let's go. Thank you so much for checking out a cup of day. And remember, use the hashtag, pour some love on this world. And let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Got to get here eventually. Clear me position, remember me. Cause the mark of a great man is not in word. Pour some love on this world.